All right, what is going on everyone? We are back with just a few moments to until we start 10 seconds left. Day 11 today, getting all the stars. Let's see what today has in store for us. Here we go. Run it. Um, ooh, interesting. Okay, just totally, totally out there. Okay, as you finally start making your way up river, you realize your pack is much lighter than you remember. Just then, one of the items of your pack goes flying overhead. Monkeys are playing keep away with your missing things. Take your step back. You need to be able to predict where the monkeys will throw your items. After some careful observation, you realize the monkeys operate based on how worried you are about each item. You take some notes, your puzzle input on the items each monkey currently has, uh, how worried you are about those items and how the monkeys make decisions based on your worry level. For example, monkey 1 has items 79 and 91. Operation. Okay, test divisible by if true. Oh my gosh. Okay. Each monkey has several attributes. Starting items, listing worry level. Operation shows how your worry level changes as the monkey inspects an item in operation. Uh, like old equals new times five means that your worry level after the monkey inspected the item is five times whatever your worry level was before inspected. Test showed, uh, shows how the monkey uses your worry level to decide whether throw an item. So this is if true, throw to whatever. Okay. After each monkey inspects an item, but before it tests your worry level, you uh, your relief. Wait. After each monkey inspects an item, but before it tests your worry level. Your relief that the monkey's inspection didn't damage the item causes your worry level to be divided by three and rounded down to the nearest integer. Monkeys take turns inspecting and throwing items. On a single monkey's turn, it inspects and throws all the items in it, uh, its holding at a time. In the turn order, monkey zero is first, then one, and so on. The process of each monkey taking a single turn is called a round. When a monkey throws an item to another monkey, the item goes on the end of the receipt list. Uh, if it's holding no items, its turn ends. Sorry, let's go back here. So it says, after each monkey inspects the item, but before it tests your worry level. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, monkey inspects an item with worry level. 79 worry levels multiplied by 19. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Monkey starts. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh. After round one, the monkeys are holding these. Process continues for a few more rounds. Okay, chasing on the monkeys at once is impossible if you're going to have to focus on the two most active monkeys if you hope to make uh, a count the total number of times each monkey inspects items over 20 rounds. Oh my gosh, okay. In this example, two most active monkeys inspected 101, 105. Level monkey <laughs> the level of monkey business in the situation can be found by multiplying these together. Figure out which monkey to chase by counting how many items they inspect over 20 rounds. What is the level of monkey business after 20 rounds? Jeez. Okay, this actually seems like kind of ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see. So the we should we're definitely gonna have to go through a test here this this one honestly guys i think is gonna take a while so let's see um okay so what do i want to do i guess we'll start with the data class monkey and I don't know what's going to be in this. Probably just uh, num int. And what else? <sighs> okay, so the items that it has. So this is going to be a val because that never changes. And items. 
Uh, we don't actually need this in the constructor. I'll just add these. Um, I'll add these later. Um, okay, so you realize the monkeys operate based on how worried you are about each item. So these are starting items, right? Worry level. Oh, an item with a worry level. So the Id that item is the worry level. Okay. And then it has like an, um, they have like an operation or something. So let's just see. Let's see here. Um, okay, this is probably gonna be kind of lame, but like, I don't know, it just feels like the easiest way to do this is like, to actually just frickin initialize it by hand, but maybe not. Probably not, actually. Um, okay. So let's do uh, val monkeys monkeys equals mutable list of um, monkey. And I think it's so they go in order. I don't know, let's just try to get this parsed, I guess. Um, so, for L in, uh, actually, let's see, lines dot, we can do our cool split by it equals, oop, it equals that, oop, double equals, and this will give us like each monkey, basically. And then I want to map this, and so the first line, we can do val num equals, um, let's just do uh, it dot, okay, so this is the first one, split by the space, and then get the first part, and remove suffix this. And then I'm just going to do to int. Okay. We can say uh, monkey num. All right. And then I have no idea how to do this part. Um, it looks like it's like always like some arithmetic. So I'll just say val op equals. Um, and we're just gonna split on the it one equals uh, split. Let's get everything after this. And now we're gonna split that on, uh, oh, sorry, we're gonna get whatever is after that. So this is gonna get the old times 19. And then we're gonna split that on uh, space. I'm assuming it's always old times. Let's just like go look at the uh, old times, old, old, old. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. So, so this is gonna be op, um, and it's like op plus, but one of them was old times old, so we're just gonna have to handle that, okay? Um, uh, second, I don't know. I don't really know what to call it, guys. Okay, and then these are all like test divisible by. So, and these are two. So val divisor equals it three. I know this is like super awesome, right? split dot and then we can just get the last one on this and we can get that as an int and then let's see if it's always if true if false so we can do the same thing and just get the true false monkey val true monkey 
equals it four dot split um, on space dot last dot two and and the same thing here. This is a false monkey. Damn false monkey. <laughs> nope, false money. Uh, we'll just we'll just fix that. <laughs> okay. Um, and so I think we can just, um, did I really call it money too? Oh my gosh, I did. That's where my head's at. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we'll just put all of these in there. Uh, oh, actually, what is this? Oh, I'm off a little bit here. So this is actually two. And then val starting items equals uh, it one dot split. And we're going to split on this. We split on. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. And then we'll get last and then split on comma space. And then map hit dot to int. All right, this should give us a list of strings. So let's just give all these to. Uh, we're gonna just put all these in uh, this class, and then add parameters. Add them all. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to put this, and then I'm going to say print m, and then uh, return m. And we're just doing this just to make sure that we're actually like getting everything out of here correctly, because we are probably not unresolved money. Damn it, dude. We did monkeys. Is, that was a ruse, dude. OK, so that looks pretty good. So the first one, let's just go with the test input for now, because like I said, it's gonna take a little bit. There's a lot of rules here. Okay, so uh, 79, this 79 op is, why did I not pick that up? I wanna be picking up this star. So op is not working. So equals hmm that's kind of weird um so let's see split on two okay this is actually very strange because this seems like it should work. So I'm just going to print this. Mm -hmm. I'm digging this music though. So print it to. Okay, that looks good. Dot split on equals. Okay. What the, what the heck? Okay. And then I want to just take the second one. This seems fine, dude. What am I missing here, guys? Okay. And then what if I just do like a remove prefix of, since it's always old, something is it always space hold something i think it is okay and then i'm gonna split that on space are you all happy with me now i must be yeah i must have been capturing um an extra space i should have just trimmed it that was um, kind of a waste of time but all right this is why we check to make sure that we have parsed everything correctly. We got the operation here, so we're all happy now. 
All right, what is up? Let's go back to the problem. So, uh, monkeys take turns inspecting all the items. Okay, starting items, uh, list your worry level for each. After each monkey inspects an item, but before it tests your worry level, your relief that that monkey's inspection didn't damage your item. So, I'm a little bit confused. So they just go, they go in order, like in number order. Uh, take notes. Each monkey, okay, after each monkey inspects. Uh, monkeys take turns inspecting and throwing items on a single monkey's turn and inspect. So it goes zero, one. Okay, that's at least what it does here. So we're just going to, um, we're going to do that. So four um, round num in uh, zero to 20 or something like that, right? And then we're going to do four M in monkeys. And then uh, each monkey is going to go through uh, item in M dot items. Okay, so um, the first thing that happens here is the monkey, uh, monkey inspects an item with worry level. So I think they just go through in order, right? Each monkey inspects an item before it tests your worry level about the, uh, before it tests that worry, your worry level changes. Okay, so let's say worry level equals, I think it's just item, right? It's an int, that's fine. Okay, then I'll say new val new level equals, and it changes based on this operation, so I'll be like get new level, and I'm gonna pass in worry level, and I'm gonna pass in m dot op, and m dot uh, num, no, that's not right m dot oh gosh second this is probably a terrible freaking name yeah um uh op two okay that's fine all right let's go to find this thing um so int and string okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna do when op and we'll just go through the different cases, which are star. Uh, I'm just gonna put in stuff here, star plus, do I see anything else? Star plus, star plus. Okay, just star and plus, cool. And then let's do this. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do this as a, let's do else, uh, fail, I don't really know, throw a new, uh, throw an, oh gosh, it really doesn't like this, throw an expected exception. This shouldn't happen. Oh, okay. All right, so we know which op we're in, and then it's either a number or old, right? So say if op two is old, then we'll do something else. We're gonna do something else here. So else, this is pretty easy, right? So this is uh, worry level times op two dot to int and we can copy these i think this is also right because old is just the um so this is return re level times re level same thing okay and then this is return re level plus re level okay not too bad um, so now we have the new worry level. What's the next part of this thing? After each monkey inspects an item before it. So I think we're actually supposed to be counting the number of times they inspect stuff or something like that. So what I'm actually gonna do is var uh, inspection count zero. And then we can just uh, add 
that, right? So this is inspection count plus, oh, m dot inspection count plus plus. Okay. Come on, scoot over here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, worry level is multiplied. Monkey gets bored with item. Worry level is divided by three and rounded down. Okay. So, um, wait, why is that? I'm so confused. Hold on a sec. Uh, that's just what it is, right? Oh, okay. It says your relief. So divided by three and rounded down to the nearest integer. Okay. So val relief equals new level three and then unresolved it doesn't like this so um can i do this wait no oh, this should be int because i'm always returning an int I think this does what I wanted to do, right? Is this an int? Yeah. So that'll be divided by three, rounded down. And then what else? Right where level is, okay. And so now we do the check. So if relief um, mod m dot divisor equals zero, uh we have to send this item to the new monkey so this monkey is actually going to be throwing all these items so i'm just going to do um m dot m dot items dot remove all True. Does this return that list? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do um uh list copy equals m dot items dot um to we can just do dot to list. This is fine. This is actually kind of weird though, right? Um, okay, I'll just figure this out in a sec. So m dot true monkey. And so what I need to do here is go into monkeys dot true monkey dot items dot add. And I'm gonna add the item with worry level 500 is thrown to three. So it's the new it's the new thing anyways, okay. Um, this is relief. Else, okay, and this will be false monkey. Dang monkeys. Okay, actually I can just do this. I can do clear after we go through all the items. Okay, I think we're actually pretty close here. So, um, Let's just do like a round, right? So can I do this? And then print. Uh, let's print the monkeys. Actually, what I'm going to do is I just want to do it. Uh, I want each of them on their own line. Okay, so we're gonna just do one round here. This is, this is after one round. Do we have, do we know what we're supposed to have? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we do. Let's see. No. So, 
does this not do? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, that doesn't seem like it did anything. It's not doing anything. What am I missing? Why am I stupid here? Uh, okay, let's just comment this out. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but it should be doing monkey, dude. so stupid ha <laughs> ha um this is uh i actually need to assign this right <laughs> um to list i'm gonna say this is list of monkey okay now let's do it do monkey. Okay. Uh, okay, so it did go through. And then here, I'm just going to print m dot items. Something something funky is going on here. They are empty, that's correct. Um, oh, you know what? I'm doing starting items, but that's not actually what I care about. I want to know what items they have. Um, and then I'm gonna just do another print line hit dot items uh that's that's not great uh Oh, you know what? It's because this I'm going through items. Okay, okay. I got it. I need to be, um... This is gonna start out as starting items dot uh, to mutable list. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm printing a lot more stuff. That's good, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, it's given me all these like, oh, it's this, stop that. Okay, so after one round, maybe? Oh, and then actually I need to put that back here. Mm -hmm. M dot. Items dot clear. Okay. Uh, in current modification exception. Oh, oop, wrong spot. Let's go here. Um, you, if you have a list, you can't like add and remove stuff uh, in and out of the list. That is not allowed. So, seventy-four. Is this what I'm looking for? No. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Let's go back and just uh, step through a little bit slower. So. Uh, uh, not. Uh, like that. Why 
500 down to two. Why is this supposed to be thrown to monkey three? Did I parse these wrong? Oh. Okay, now let's see. Lots of lots of bugs, dude. Okay, so five hundred thrown to three. Um, six twenty thrown to three, and then twenty thrown to zero. Okay, so this one's going wrong. The worry increases. Let's make sure I have the right starting stuff. So 54 and worry level increases by six. Yeah, plus six, that seems good. So I'm gonna say, let me just put this new level in there too. Um, and hell, why not put m dot? Uh, numb as well. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Yeah, this sucks. Just some bug then. So, thrown to zero. So, it's thrown to the right thing, but this is wrong. I must have had a multiply in there. Let's see. It's a plus. I, I, yeah, I screwed that up. Dang it. That's frustrating. 20, okay. 20, 23, 27. This seems right. 23, 27, 20, 80, 20. Okay. Cool. That's good. And then what am I supposed to do? So after round 20, so let's go back and put this in. Uh, so until zero until 20 is 20 rounds. Oop. No, 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 no. All right, so at the end of 20 rounds, is that what I have? 10, 12, 14. Okay, that's good. And then uh, in this example, two most active monkeys inspected 101 and 105 items. Multiply them together. What is the level of monkey business? Okay, so this should be pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna do monkeys dot map uh, it dot inspection count dot sorted uh, descending take two dot let and then what we can do is just do uh, the first one times the second one is that the right Yep. Okay. All right. So after uh, some mishaps, some debugging, this should be correct. All right. It is cool. Let's see. Part two. You're worried you might not ever get your items back. So worried, in fact, your relief that a monkey's inspection dam uh, didn't damage the item no longer causes your worry level to be divided by three. Unfortunately, the relief was all that kept your worrying levels from reaching ridiculous levels. Can you find another way to keep your worry levels manageable at this rate? You might be putting the, up with these for a while, possibly a thousand rounds. So with these rules, you can still figure out the monkey business after a thousand rounds, same as above. 
Okay, so the key to this is actually, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna modify this um, thing. So the first thing to know is that now we're gonna be working with larger numbers. So I'm just gonna switch over to long, which is twice as big. Um, we're gonna do, basically you have to just uh, put everything as longs. So where was that? Uh, I can just, um, this actually, this whole thing has to be longs, long. And then the divisor, these are fine if they're ints, everything will be happy with that. This is now, um, that's all fine. This thing needs to be too long. They won't actually be that, um, like the long value, but, um, This is not correct, right? Yeah, so to int, okay, this is this, I'm just gonna change these to too long though. Oh, you know what? That actually could be correct. Let's do this. Uh, is that 20? That doesn't look right. 29 something. Yeah, that's not high enough. Um, okay. Let's see. Is it a thousand or ten thousand? Am I not doing this enough? Ten thousand rounds. Yeah, check your um, check your numbers. Just copy them. Type mismatch between int. Let inspection count. This needs to be a long as well. Come on. Inspect. Expected, but got, oh uh, man. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, this, because this isn't uh, that. That's wrong. Right? Let's, let's go back and read that part. Um, Actually, let's just do, okay, let's actually do this. Let's take these and then do, uh, dot to list. These are still rolling over, actually. These are too big. So I need, uh, we need to go bigger, I think, right? Blah, thrown to, I mean, I guess it doesn't really, mm, it probably does matter, actually. Uh, Kotlin, big, big integer, what I need. All right, dude, Stack Overflow, it's like, you just use it. You can use like any others. Okay, fine. So what we're gonna do is worry level item and items. Okay. I don't actually know that this is like what I need to be doing, but this is what I'm assuming. I just think the number is probably too fricking big. Um, so it, 
Can I just do this? Okay. Worry level. Dot. Uh, multiply. So. Yeah, this is pretty chill, dude. Just uh, don't mess this up. Multiply. I think it really wants this one to also be a big integer. Can we? Oh, but we don't know. Like, we can't say for sure that it is because it's a freaking string. So, um. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, can I just... I can't do this? I can. That's it, fine. Uh, got it. So it just needs to... I just need to wrap it like that. There's only one left here. And so I guess this is like... Mod. And... Um, can we just make this divisor a big int as well? Divisor, where are you? Okay. Oh man. I'm having some trouble with this one, but like, I feel like maybe other people also might, so. Mod, okay, but what is this, what is this return? Okay, equals big editor dot. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I need to stop printing these actually. Um, this doesn't, this is already not like, Okay, so what I want to do is just check um, if this is good. Where did... Oh yeah, I was on Stack Overflow. Okay, that's fine. Do I just wait? Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it on that for a second. I'm just gonna print line round, and I just want to try it for like twenty. Okay, that's fine. I just am trying to make sure that this number is correct. 99, 97, 8, 103. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... This is... Dude, this is just the frickin', um... Oh my gosh. This isn't gonna work. Um, what I need to do is, what do I need to do? Um, I need to find, I need to find a divisor. So all of these test on these numbers. So I'm just gonna like, um, this is like a little bit cheating, 
but uh, don't bring up this. I don't know, maybe not cheating, but GCD finder. Or I guess the greatest, uh, oh, you know what? They're all, they're all primes. These are primes. These are all primes. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So I need to um, have a, uh, sorry, least common multiple. That's actually what I mean. Um, so we need to scale the number down when, when we get to that. So um, LCM int, and this is going to be um, all the monkey equals monkeys dot map it. We want to do their divisors. Uh, do they have a product? Dot, uh, I just wanna multiply all these together. Reduce. Um, this is fine. So, uh, dot, Okay, everything's a big int now, so. Okay, and so now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take this relief and we're gonna say if relief dot mod LCM is big integer dot zero, then we can just divide it. Um, so relief, this is gonna be that bar. Yeah. Um, equals relief dot by to by. Um, and this is how we'll keep our number from just getting like way, 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 way too big. It's not really working that well. Um, hmm. This one's gonna be tricky. This feels like it should work though. Um, so th this is going to be the key though, is, is making sure that we can reduce things. So reducing number, um, let's, let's see if this ever gets triggered. It probably doesn't. It is not ever getting triggered. Uh, this is bad. Uh, what if, I wonder if we can actually just do it here. I wonder if when this is the case, can we just, uh, I'm just gonna do this since they are primes and I guess maybe that works. Or maybe this never gets triggered. Our big ints just like totally screwing me here. No, this is getting hit. But the numbers are ridiculously big. And they sh shouldn't be. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just definitely missing something here. It actually just feels like it's going slower than it used to. Do I have any other checkpoints here? Like, I'm assuming that I'm on the right track, but um, it would kind of help to know. I guess maybe I can check that it's working at 20. Um, Okay, there's got to be some other shortcut here, though, right? So what we're doing each time... Um, yeah, this is safe, actually. I definitely can do this. Um, number. Because um, because if it's divisible by this, it can't be divisible by something else. Like, they're independent, right? So, 99. I still have this. I mean, it's good. It just... I don't know why... Um, okay, I'm just going to let that run for a little bit while I sit here and think. Can I do... Can I actually divide here as well? Like... the only thing that matters is whether it's divisible by that number and you know what I think I can actually mod it by the LCM I think that there is some sort of um... I think that there is some axiom that says that I can do this so I'm just gonna try it Right, because they're all in independent kind of uh, spaces. So if I can do this, this will keep it low. This should this should go really fast, um, super fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, is that right though? One or two. It is. Yes, 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 yes. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Either this took me a really long time, or like this is gonna take people a while. Um, uh, did we not? I'm so confused though. Uh, inspection counts. Oh, so this output matched. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 53 minutes, it seems kind of slow, but I think this, um, I think that this will be pretty good. Yes. Okay, so the reason this works is, um, let, let's go back to the question, actually, because this is like pretty, it, um, a little bit tricky, right? So they do hint at you, right? They're like, you, you're you not gonna divide by three, you have to find another way to keep it manageable, right? And they tell you that. At first I was like, we'll choose big integer. They're very large, like no worries, right? Um, but uh, they still get too big, right? They don't hit, like, at first I said, let's use big int, that didn't work. Then I said, well, I noticed that all of these divisors are prime. And so the, the thing to note about whether they're prime is that um, 
is that, okay, that means that if, uh, like if I can divide by it and then I can pass it to someone else, like these are in different uh, divisor spaces. I think they're called like rings or something in math. It's been, I don't know, 15 years, so I'm not so great at this. Um, but essentially like these are in different, uh, yeah, kind of groups. So like me changing, me dividing it by um, a number uh, like by a certain prime isn't going to affect its divisibility by a different prime. Okay, that was at least like kind of what I thought. And maybe that's wrong. Like that actually may be not true. It feels true, but it may not be true. But <laughs> but what definitely is true is that um, that axiom does hold modulo, right? So the reason is that when you're in the modulo space, like once you go too high, it just wraps back around, right? And so um, if all we care about is whether it's divisible, right? Then we can um, figure out like, what is the lowest number that all of the divisors um, can go into? And since they're all primes, we can just multiply them all together, right? That's what we ended up doing with this LCM here. Um, and so this is the lowest number that all of these can divide. So what that also means is that um, if our number gets too high, right, like then, uh, then we can take the mod of it and put it back in this small space. And to like intuitively check that this works, I don't know what the LCM is, but let's say it's, um, I don't know, now I'm, <laughs> I can't come up with a good number. Let's say it's uh, 121. That's 11 times 11. That's not right. Whatever. You get my point. Let's pick an LCM. Let's say it's 121. That number doesn't make sense, but let's say it is, right? Um, if I'm trying to test whether something's divisible by 19, it doesn't matter if that number is 19 or whether it's the LCM plus 19, right? Like that check is still true or false. And so if the only thing I care about is which monkey does it end up going to, then you can put things in this modulo space. It took me a really long time to realize that. Um, I'll copy over all the code to be in part two. So all of this kind of works the way it does. It's normally how I clean this stuff up. But before we jump off, let's go see how we did. I It, it took me a while, but I don't think it was that bad. Let's just go like make ourselves feel bad looking at these guys. Okay, so if it takes 18 minutes for the top 100, um, I feel pretty good at uh, 51 minutes or whatever. So, okay. So it's not in the top like 2000 like I was trying to get for a while, but um, I think it's still really good. So I'm happy with that. Didn't get too tripped up, uh, yeah. So I think, uh, I think that's it for today. This is day 11. A little bit of a tricky one, um, but that's kind of to be expected since it is the weekend and uh, they'll definitely start ramping up from here. So hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, we'll catch you for day 12 tomorrow. See ya.